Hello fellow developers, hope you are having a great day. This is Andrew Dokken and today's episode is gonna be about accessibility and voiceover. First, a little bit of definitions. What is voiceover? Voiceover is a built-in accessibility feature on Apple devices including iOS, macOS, watchOS and tvOS. It is designed to assist users who are visually impaired in interacting with the user interface on those devices. VoiceOver provides auditory feedback that describes the elements on the screen, allowing users to hear what's happening and providing them with the information they need to effectively use their devices. For this tutorial, I've created a simple UI kit app, and the main goal is to make all elements work with VoiceOver. If you try running the app, you will see that VoiceOver is already able to read through some elements and switch between them. That's because UIKit makes some standard elements accessible by default. But as you may notice, accessibility order of the buttons on top is incorrect, titles are not announced as headers, button doesn't convey the stand changes, custom action simply doesn't work and image on the bottom is not selectable by voiceover. So here what we need to do. First, we need to change the element focus order to make the numbers buttons read correctly in ascending order. Then, titles should be announced as headers. Buttons should announce the state changes when selected. Button 9 should be unselectable as it has disabled state. Switch focus should move accessibility focus onto mounting image as well as announce its purpose. Custom action, accessed by double tap gesture, should be accessible in voiceover mode. Announcement button must make an accessibility announcement when tapped. Finally, mounting image should be selectable by voiceover. If you want to follow along, the app source code is available on GitHub and the link you will find down below in the description to this video. First, let's start from headers. Let's make our titles announced as headers in voiceover. So now all our titles have accessibility traits header and using rotor we can switch between them using swipe gesture or using arrow up and down on a keyboard. Next, let's go to the image view. First, let's make it accessible, then let's assign its trait an image, also let's add a accessibility label and also accessibility identifier that usually is used in unit testing. So as you can see, we've added accessibility for our image view in code. By why our image is not accessible after all, some of the buttons and labels are accessible by default. Let's go to the storyboard and open the inspectors. Then switch to Identities Inspector. On the bottom, as you can see, we have Accessibility Traits Image and User Interaction enabled, checked, but the accessibility is unchecked. That's why our image view is not accessible by default. When we switch to some other elements, for instance, button 6, as you can see, accessibility is checked by default. So let's close the inspector. Next, let's change the accessibility order of our buttons. In order to do that, we need to create an array of all elements on the screen and assign it to a views accessibility elements. So here we have created an array of all the elements on the screen and assign it to a views accessibility elements. And we need to cast it as any because accessibility elements is array of any items. We have a correct accessibility order. Now let's switch to a select button action and add a selected state. In order to do that, we'll be using an accessibility value. So what we are doing here, based on a selected state of the button, we are either adding a label or removing it. Now 
Let's work on a move focus. So what we want to achieve? When we select move focus button, the accessibility focus must move from the button to the image on the bottom. In order to achieve our switch focus, we are using UI accessibility post notification with layout change and as argument we are setting our image view, the destination view we want our focus to move on. So now we can move focus, but let's add some extra information for our button to get our user know what it exactly does. In order to do that, we need to add an accessibility hint to our move focus button. Next up is a custom action. We have a label with a double tap gesture recognizer to change its background color. But why we cannot access it in voiceover mode? Because voiceover has already mapped double tap gesture to selection. In order to make it accessible in voiceover mode, we need to add a custom accessibility action. So here how you do this. We're creating UI accessibility custom action, added a name for voiceover to convey to the users, add a target as selector and add a long press to change color IB action, which is gonna be invoked by the accessibility custom action. Then we assign it a custom action to accessibility custom actions on our element. As you can see, it's inside of the array because we can assign multiple actions to the same element. And the last step is an accessibility announcement. So let's add an accessibility announcement when we tap make announcement button. So here how you do this. You make an accessibility post notification, but this time we make an announcement as an argument we're adding a string we want to announce. Also, we need to add a dispatch queue as sync because voiceover starts read the label, in our case is button title, and may miss the announcement. So let's run our app and see how it looks like with an accessibility enhancement. VoiceOver on. VoiceOver. Element order. Heading. Headings. Switch. Custom action. Heading. Announcement. Heading. Custom action. Switch focus. He element order. Heading. One. Button. One selected. Two. Three. Button. Three selected. Two. One selected. Button. Nine. Dimmed. Nine. Dimmed. Move focus. Button. Double tau to move focus onto the mountain image. Move focus. Picture of a mountain. Image. Double tap to change color. Button. Headings. Actions. Activate. Change color action. Make announcement. Button. Make announcement. This is a test announcement. Focused image. Picture of a mountain. Image. So here is how you do an accessibility enhancement for a voiceover. If you find this video useful, give it a like. Consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't done it yet. If you have some questions, jump to the comment section and I will see you next episode. Thank you for watching and goodbye.